Hi everybody, so I'm coming to you today to show you how I make my little, let me see if I can pull it out, <laughs> it's a little, the little kawaii donut, if you can see it, excuse my nails, on this hand I have glove on only because my nail is pretty jacked up and pretty much don't have a nail there so I don't want to gross you out. <laughs> Anywho, um. Yeah, so here's a little donut that I made, and if you are friends with me on Facebook, then you'll see that I have posted um, these donuts. And uh, let me see if I can find another one for you guys and show you. Uh, let's see, the ones that are already baked, because the one that you see right there in in view is not baked. I just uh, wanted to show you how it looks before you bake it, but yeah. So okay. Okay, so here is the little mini donut, mini mouse, sorry. And here is another one that's baked, and here is another one that's got glitter to make it, give it, to give it like a, I'm sorry, to give it a, um, like a sugar sprinkle effect okay if you can see and they all have little hearts on them and those are flat back um, pearl hearts that I got from Joanna Pacheco okay so she sent me all colors of those and those are just too too cute and I just thought that they would make the donuts stand up more and if you can see on here they have like little sprinkles pink and white and this is just white and on the side you can see the icing kind of like going on the side of it okay okay so let me move these out the way and I will show you how I made this one right here okay so first you want to start off with you know whatever you have your Sculpey bake clay or whatever brand you like to use I picked these up at Walmart and uh, it says here I'm sorry I'm too zoomed in it says here, um, Sculpey Bake Clay, and these were 99 cents. Now, I know some at Michael's and Hobby Lobby, they have, um, they have them, you know, for like two, three bucks or three dollars and up. But, you know, this works just as great. I've bought a few from Hobby Lobby, and, um, yeah, they didn't work out for me. So, this is pretty good. Uh, another thing, um... They have glitter ones and all that, but I mean, you can easily just add glitter to your Sculpey. You can add mica to give it like a shimmer. There's, you know, you can add all that stuff to make it really look really cute versus buying the one that has glitter, okay? So this is what I'm using today to make uh, the donuts and uh, I have the other one. And these are open. I just, open, I just have them in a um, um, Ziploc bag, okay? So... I'll get started. Here I have uh, some clay and it looks like a piece of doo-doo. <laughs> okay, so here's some piece of clay and I'm what I'm going to do is just take like a small amount, okay? And I'm just going to just start rolling it because you kind of want to soften it up. So I'm just rolling it, okay, in, in circles and uh, until you kind of get a um you can see kind of like a whoops you can see okay so then you want to let me see I'm sorry so here it goes okay so all I'm gonna do is just place it down and just kind of start pressing a little bit of it, or, you know, where it kind of looks like, if you see it on the side, kind of looks like a donut. And my camera is not focusing. You see it? And my camera is just... I don't know what's wrong with my camera. Oh, God. What is going on? Okay, well, 
this is the effect you want to go for on your donut like you see it actually looks like a donut it's kind of like not flat but like even all around okay I just kind of want to spin it around okay so there's a little donut and let me see if I zoom in and it's still gonna act crazy on me okay next you're gonna take whatever kind of icing or topping you want for your donut and you're just gonna get you're just gonna rip a little piece off and then you want to just uh, play with it again just in a circular motion and then uh, you want to flatten it out you can see and you know it this will stick but you can always easily just take it off and just apply it on top of your donut you know kind of make sure it's on there okay and yeah there you have it now if you want you can pick up the side of your donut like your icing if your icing is too short and once you apply it and press firmly if it's your icing is too um, is smaller than the actual donut you can just kind of press the icing on the side to go down which is going to give it like a dripping effect which is going to make it actually look like a like a donut and if you see that your your donut is um it's kind of uneven you can just pick it up and like in a circular motion just like a quarter like if you're moving a quarter and wrote in a in the, yeah, how do you say it <laughs> um in a circle okay so that's what i'm going to do just gonna move it around in a circle whoops off the camera so there you have it i will flip it on the side so that you can see and if you want it to look more like a donut as far as like a icing effect like dripping on the side like this i'm oh, sorry like this all you had to do was just on the side of the where the pink set just kind of start pushing down a little bit and it'll easily just just fall down to the sides okay so there is your little donut and to see if it's the right size um, I will place it on my nail and you can make them smaller you can make them thinner I just you know prefer to to wear my you know um, nail art or whatever I'm a little chunky okay so there's the, don the donut okay and I'm gonna put that down and next I have uh, I'm gonna put some some ice like some sprinkles okay so I'll push this here I just got a little piece and what I'm going to do is kind of like put it in the circle a little bit just rotate it around and then I'm just going to roll it okay roll this until it's once it starts passing your finger because you're gonna start off with it really small once it starts passing your finger you're gonna start using like two fingers real gently just start rolling it and you'll start to see it you know get longer okay so there you go okay so there's that <laughs> Sorry, that dog hears any noise and she starts barking. Uh uh, Maggie. Okay. It just depends on how thick you want your sprinkles. I think this is good enough. So then I just take uh, my toothpick and then I start. I think that's kind of too big, so. I'm actually going to cut this down and have some more and just kind of roll it out because the toothpick will give it like a really ugly separation just kind of push those to the side or however you want your sprinkles there's one and here is a second sprinkle I mean, you can put any color you can put black sprinkles red pink purple whatever you want um, I'm just gonna put I'll go ahead and put um, I'll go ahead and put three sprinkles. Okay, so 
Let me put that. Okay. So there you go. And let me get this out of the way. Now, if you want um, like some little spark to your donut, I'm going to go ahead. What I'm going to do next before I put um, some shimmer or sparkle on the donut, I'm going to take a toothpick and right in the center where you think is the center is where you're going to press down. And you can either twist it, you could pick it up with your two fingers or your finger and just gently, let's see, gently start pushing the toothpick through. Okay? And then pull it off. And there you have the center for your donut. The little little hole for your donut. Okay, let me zoom in and see if it doesn't get blurred on me. Okay, so I'm just gonna use this sparkle, whoops, glitter from Joanne's, and it's called Fairy Sparkle. And I just and it, the color is Crystal Diamond Dust. Okay, so I'm just gonna take like a little bit of it. And just put a little bit on it and these little hearts um, well, then after this you just going to want to bake it for 275 for 15 minutes then you're just gonna let them cool now if you take them out the oven to make sure if they're ready they're still gonna be a little soft because they have to firm up with the heat so therefore you have to let it cool and once you go back once they're cool, then you you know they're going to be real hard, real firm. Okay, so don't get worried and that you didn't bake it long enough because 15 minutes is all you need. And um, once they're out, um, you can these little hearts right here. These are a little tiny. You can see how small they are. Uh, flat back heart like pearls that I got from Joanna Pacheco, and she sent me all kinds of colors. So I just decided to use red. Um, or you can use white. She sent me just a ton of beautiful colors. So you're just going to take your little heart. Whoops. And if I can get it to, it's not going to turn around. You're going to get your little heart and just place it wherever you want on the donut. Um, you can just put some builder gel and then place this on there. Put it in the UV lamp for like a minute or so. Then take it back out, and then you can put any top coat or gla you know your glaze, um, UV gel or whatever it is that you want to do. Okay, so I hope this tutorial was helpful. Um, and when they come out the oven, this is how they're going to look, all glazed and ready to go, ready to eat. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> and this one has a little white pearl heart on it, and it's so cute. And we can see from the side. So yeah. There are your little kawaii mini donuts. Now, if you want to um, make one like this, the mini head, well, if it wants to focus, then all you're gonna do is just take even, you know, equal parts of um, of your um, sculpey, roll it in a little ball, and like firm not firmly but like medium firmly you know kind of just put it on the onto the donut and they'll stick they'll stick you just gotta work with it a little bit not too much I didn't really have to work too hard to make those stick on because they'll eventually just stick to it okay and um, I just put little sprinkles and a little flat back um, pearl heart and yeah and there you go you have a little donut and I'll flip it over so that you can see the back yeah the back's not so great but I mean if you're going to apply it to something, it doesn't really matter, right? But I just put too much glitter, and when I was moving them around in the actual glass to bake them, it got glitter on the back. So you can always fall that off or you know, whatever you want to do. Okay, so there's that one and this one, and then this is, we're just going to say that it came off. <coughs> Sorry. Did it, um, <coughs> excuse me. 
that it's already baked and you know we're just going to put under the UV light. So whatever you do, do not, if you have any little pearls or little bows that you want to add to the Mickey, I mean Minnie Mouse head or a little tiny bow that you want to add to your donut or whatever it is that you want to add. Remember, don't add those um, before they go into the oven, okay? So really quick, I'll, there, that's the um, donut and I will try and show you how I make... Um, the um, the lollipops that I made right here. So here's let me see. Here's one. Now these are kind of uh, these are a little big. So I mean let's just say that I have a nail on. So it's gonna be not too big. Not not at all. And there's another one that's actually bigger than this. And this one's not it. I'm sorry. It was this one. Okay. Yeah, so I mean, I like big nail art, so it doesn't bother me. I did make a real tiny one that I have not glazed yet, but you can see the difference. How it's, this one's little, this one's small, medium, and this one's large. And there goes my camera acting up. So this one's large, this one's medium, and this one is small. Okay. So I'll show you really quick how to make these. It's really really simple and I'm just gonna use this toothpick as an example okay so here's the the brown and I'm gonna use the pink okay so what I'm going to do is just soften the clay a little bit and then just start rolling it out and remember once it starts passing your finger then you want to start using like two fingers to kind of give it an even um, layout you know when it starts in, in eh, sorry and even spread out okay you want to press down a little bit but you don't want to press down too hard and one side's going to be thinner than the other side and you don't want that because then it's not going to be so great when you start twisting it together it's going to start breaking apart because some's going to be thin some's going to be medium and then some parts going to be large okay so Okay, that's just, there's one, and then here's the pink, so let me move this out the way, and let me zoom out for you, and then just, sorry if the video is so long, I didn't think I was, having, I didn't think I was talking that, long, that much, that long, <laughs> I'll try to get through this really quick, okay, I find it easier when you're, um, Twisting these, um, it doesn't work so well for me when I'm twisting them together on here because it starts to spin around, okay? So I just pick it up and just spin it around, like twist it. And as I'm twisting it, the center starts to become thicker, so I'm kind of, when I'm twisting, I'm kind of like stretching it like out, further out, okay? Away from each other. Okay, so we're going to go with that. And just go a little bit more. Okay, so you're just going to take these two and put them together. Okay, and this is what I'm talking about. It's what I find kind of a little difficult. So as you're spreading, you're kind of like twisting it. But you see how it's not all really coming together? And there you go. So see how this side's becoming real thin? This one's becoming thicker. So, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to pick this up and just twist it. So that way they can have an even. Okay, so there you have it. And there you have your twist. Okay, so what you're going to do, I'm going to cut this end off only because it's not going to look so great. It's not evenly twisted. Okay, and all you're going to do is just start. Can you see? Okay, just start twisting. I'm just going to leave it at that and when you cut you want to cut like in a diagonal that way though you can't really tell that you cut anything off okay so let me move this out the way and then you want to get your toothpick before you're going to bake you want to get your toothpick and um, you just want to stick right where you end it when you cut off your um, 
your Sculpey to close your lollipop. You just want to push it in there. Okay, and you see how it kind of started spreading. Okay, and there you have it. And then you just want to cut here. Okay, you want to cut it off and then bake it, or you can leave them like this and then cut them when they're done baking, however you choose to do that. And sometimes you'll see the toothpick, but I mean, not a big deal because if you're going to wear it flat on something, but if you don't want it to show, then you can just, um, I did this really quick, okay, so <laughs> yeah, usually mine don't really show, so then you just want to bake it, cut it, you can either, um, some people use Sculpey, they pre-bake their Sculpey sticks, the way I rolled this out, they break them and then they shave them down at the tips to make them pointy to, and then they pre-bake theirs and then they before um, they make their um, lollipop swirls and then they enter the Sculpey in them and then bake it but I just prefer to use a, um, a toothpick it's um, much easier for me and um, yeah, and then I just paint them and I just used uh, let's see I just used white nail polish and yeah I didn't have a problem with it so there you go there is your lollipop okay and I'll place this against my nail which is a little big not too, not too much and there you have it so there is how you make your little kawaii donuts and your lollipops and I hope this was helpful and um, if you make them post them on Facebook so that I can check them out and um, I'll see you on the next one bye